morning, a bit of a cloudy 30th of March. Um, so I've left them for probably two weeks nearly since I, I last took a batch of cuttings. Um, it's time for me really to start taking the main batches. Things like the, the Brins, Aggies, Louis, for, uh, possibly Valentine, Ramsey, Alvis, those are slightly later flowering varieties. I try to take them sort of very beginning of April. It also gives me another go at, at the same tubers should I need to to get the numbers up um, mid April. Uh, so I get two goes, and that would be the main batch that generally will go into the ground. Um, there's a lot of greenery and there's some big shoots. Um, again, time is, is always an issue for me. So I get these little phases where I can hit into them. Um, but some of the taller shoots, I'll just cut those down lower and I'll have the, the top cutting. So I've got to go through this lot. We've already, this was the first batch of cuttings I, t I took. Um, embarrassingly, I never even potted them up. Um, and I might do that today on some that I think I might need. But I've just left them in the trays. I could always just retake the tops if I need to as, as cuttings. So there's about 120 there. Then that was a batch two weeks later. Um, these are still on slight heat and they've only pretty much just rooted, but we can see there's some nice, good, strong cuttings in there. Um, and those will be potted and will effectively be uh, back up to probably the batch that's in here, that's been in there now for approaching two weeks and they're hopefully rooted, so there's about 200 in there. Seems to be I get batches of five trays of 40 each time, so there's about 600 um, cuttings here all told thereabouts, or well, that's no, probably about 500 <coughs> plus what I take in the next two weeks, um, or two goes, which will be two weeks apart. Yet again, still no benches, still working off the floor, Hopefully I'll, I'll knock some pallets up so I can get these propagators up onto a, a bench. Um, but so I've finished now refurbishing the flat. We're now at the busy time of year in, at, at the garden centre. But as long as I get them off these plants, get root, off these tubers, get roots on them, um, that's all I can do and that'll be all I need to do really. The plot I've, I've cleared, took the fabric off, took the canes out, knocked the tops off um, and I've got effectively now two months to get that dug and prepared. Sounds a long time, two months, but I don't tend to work up there on the weekend and I work every other weekend. So really we're only talking about seven Wednesdays um, to get that done um, and prepared as well as taking the cuttings here, potting them, getting the plants ready. So it will be done. It won't be as uh, leisurely as it maybe normally is, but as long as I get plants in the ground at the beginning of June that are good, healthy plants, the rest I can deal with from there. So we'll have a go at this lot. All right, that's enough for today. You can see I've packed back the uh, tubers. So I've back, I've took all the cuttings. Um, so we've got six trays left up there. The ones on the floor here really are now rejects. I've, I've taken all I want from them. Um, but as there's a bit of space in a greenhouse, not much. I'll keep them in here until I need the space. The batch that are on there, so there's is it short of 200 there, are the ones that were taken um, nearly two weeks ago. So they're on the, still on the heat. The batch over there were taken three weeks ago. They're not on the heat now, so I'll just we'll pot those next. The ones with that have potted are the ones from um, the first take there and there started them about really but just the first few under the fleece is uh, 120 that I couldn't fit in the fitter pod that I've taken today and then in here are the um, 230 I think it is just about fits um, of what I took today as well. I do have a, a bit of paper somewhere. I've just done a rough count through of, of the varieties that I was growing and what I wanted. So that, that those that are printed 
is where I've got to. And then the ones in that next column handwritten in is, is what I've taken today. Um, so pretty much all bar a couple that I could probably do with a couple more of just to give me some spare. Um, got all I need um, taken now. Just whether they fit in the greenhouse. But that's another problem. So next week, probably a little bit of potting and then uh, digging on the plot. Wednesday the 6th of April, just had a potting session. Luckily I couldn't pot anymore because they wouldn't fit in the greenhouse at the moment. Do have a sort of plan to leave some of these um, to a different location when I pot the rest. But So these are those trays that we left on from last week and I'm probably going to just leave it till perhaps the end of the week um, into next and I'll just take the last batch of cuttings from those there's the old few pots tucked in between purely for room the rest of the bench has got the cuttings that I've literally uh, potted in the last couple of hours so they are the full and then the floor is full still never got around to building a bench but the plants don't know if they're on the floor or or not, as long as they're getting light. Which when I move that couple of pellets of compost out there, then they will. Um, so there's 12 truck plants in a tray. So there's, a, I think, about 400 um, and all potted. And then we've got, still in the propagators and under the fleece, um, the last batch of curtains which we took last week. Um, and there's about 360 there I think so another week or so before they need potting on by which time I need a, a solution for all these that I have potted but they should be alright they're probably usable plants the ones I've just potted um, but hopefully the, the batch that I've got there um, plus the last few off of the, off of the tubers will be more likely the ones I'll plant and these will be spares or pot tubers, we hope. Right, off to the shops. Wednesday the 13th of April. Finally managed to find some time to get down here and do some digging. I cleared it a couple of weeks ago. What I've decided to do um, is only dig the beds. There's one bed done this morning. Doesn't take very long. Um, reason behind that, twofold. One, I'm lazy. No, um, it will mean it's done quicker. The beds aren't moving, they're not going in any other place. I cut off and change the orientation for one reason or another, but they're staying as they are. Um, and when I put the fabric down last year, after hand digging it all and motivating it, trying to pin it down in a effectively soft, thin air soil. It just, uh, the wind blew and it started picking up, so I thought I'll just do the beds, leave the paths, and at least it gives me something firm to pin the fabric down into, um, and it will take less time to, to dig. So that's today's job. I won't get it all done. Yeah, if I can get probably five beds done, there's 14 in all, so 13 to go. Um, but if I can get five done, five another day, the last four and then uh, that's all done in sort of free free sittings can't do it all day because i've not got the best of backs and it does hurt after a while but that's where we are today got a bit carried away and uh, done all seven beds on this plot it's half fun so it was about four and a half hours but the camera's shaking probably won't be able to walk tonight but it's all done, so just the, the beds all dug over, leaving the paths. So that's seven there, and then these seven still to do, but at least uh, I've got half of it done. Time to rest.